in your comments and questions. I have. I did write because of the email this afternoon down in the back. Members of the committee. I sat down this afternoon and decided to that my handwritten notes and my brain probably wouldn't do it the justice that I do or is trying to do here tonight. And so I typed it out myself. I'm going to read it rather than say off the top here. Uh, it doesn't it's kind of like it takes one side or the other. It takes the position that I thought council was working from from 2015 on. And I'll say it this way. In early 2015, council and staff reviewed all our all our buildings as part of our mandate as new council. The Santa's fire station was seen as a must at the time. And this has been the case for many years. Council through the budget process in the last 12 months has directed tax dollars a considerable amount to see this project move forward. Council made a decision well before moving to review on how South Front might like deliver car services over the next de decade. Council and staff understand how the committee of residents and staying as care of having community hall. So I, I get the same message too from people, other people. I suggest to you the new fire station has a training meeting community hall. The size may not be fully meet what your committee would like to see when the final design is complete. And that's where I hear council is hedging a little bit tonight. During the presentation by the committee at our March meeting, it was stated Long Sioux has a community center building. The committee indicated their desire for the same in St. Andrews. I suggest to all of you, in the strongest terms, the next our facility is for all residents of South Vermont, and I would be the record to throw most of the usage outside our area. My point is, since 1998, we are South Vermont, and all our facilities are for everyone. In the fall of 2015, Council asked staff for a five-year capital plan. The dollars needed are staggering. Some of the projects are noted in this report. This does not include the closure of our landfill site with a life expectancy of at least approximately 10 years and a closing requirement of over a million dollars. Our data is in reserve today. My point is we have to find ways to meet lots of demands. Everyone in this room knows this. We're not always able to secure outside funding and assistance from other levels of governments. We do follow these opportunities closely on a regular daily basis. Sananda's fire station building is just one, of, one item. We believe it be essential to start the process of upgrading our fire stations. We not only have long Sananda's, but we have long stood the inside waiting in the wings for over 60 years, and these are not certainly not meeting any of our current standards. On another note for the Sananda's residents, the, we know that Heritage Building in St. Andrews will require our attention. We simply cannot continue to ignore this building, which also will play a major role in how library services are offered. Option one is not what the St. Andrews group wishes. In my opinion, your council was heard loud and clear your positions. Deferring for another 18 months, in my opinion, is not an option as we move forward as to meet our mandate in the next two and a half to three years. We acknowledge your fundraising and we appreciate that and with all people do. And we understand your willingness to want to do more. And so far on council, no matter who's around this table, will never be able to provide enough tax dollars to meet all those demands. And you know, if you walk across the island 17 and ask them, they've been waiting for over 60 years for a big road. Some have said everything is happening along the Sioux area. A majority of the reason is the land is available now and buyers are buying it up. We have good developers that are now four and five looking after this land where we only had one or two back in 2000, 2001. A recent email suggested staff had a report prior to the meeting here on, uh, on Tuesday. This is categorically incorrect. Council position responsibilities are difficult under any circumstances, and we take all the responsibilities seriously. I just want to say that to all our standards, I have people down here that I know quite well too, and I have a lot of respect for everyone in this room tonight. Today. It's not easy to make these kind of decisions, but I think council has to stand up and be prepared. Now, if council wishes to extend this for two or three weeks, then that's the wish of the council. But I, as I've said to at least one or two members in that community, just continue to put your foot down and say, we will want nothing less than 3,600 square feet with walking crews. I said to them months ago, in my opinion, from my standpoint, it was a non-starter. Something less than that can be worked out for everybody's concern, and I would encourage all parties to stop the emails and demanding that we have two sides of the same letter. I am not prepared as, as head of council to, to vote for that. And I'm not prepared to see this 
spend it much more down the road. We have too many issues coming to the paper here. Our expenses are not going to go down. Those capital projects are not going to go away. And the revenues coming into this municipality over the next three and a half, four years, based on the information we're getting from the impact, is going to be low at the very best. So unless we get a lot of growth, we get a lot of support from the our peer governments, we're going, to, we're going to have to cut back in other areas that we don't want to. <coughs> I personally, if I can do it today, and take the 400000 that i got to put into a culvert in Newington, and put it towards that facility down there, you can probably talk me into doing that, because that particular culvert has to be replaced. And I don't like spending that kind of money in this place, it's hard to get any traffic, but that's the facts we live with. Just one, one small example. Now, council has been here for my little topic, so they used to challenge me on any of those stuff that I said, now we're back. Before I call for the vote. Mr. Mayor, no, I sorry. Rise of Josh, order. Josh, sit down, please. I am not going to allow you to speak. On a point sit order, down. I believe sit I have the right down. to speak. No, you're not. Sit down, please. You will sit down. Thank you. Council, raise the vote. If a building was separate from the fire hall, would it still have to be post-disaster? I don't think so. Thank you. Um, Council, they have said you, I can call three different ways. Proof, defeat, defer. We have asked for a recorded vote to approve. All those in favor to approve. Record a vote. Councilor Primo. Yay. Councilor Smith. Nay. Councilor Walter. Yay. Deputy Mayor Hart. Yay. Mayor Bancroft. Yay. Motion is carried. 